Welcome to the Chi Channel. I'm Mary Kay, and as you can see, this is not my kitchen. We're out in the desert today with Dan O'Connor. Dan O'Connor, and what are you making for us today? Today we'll Dan? be making a peach cobbler off the coals and out of the Dutch oven. Right now, we're waiting for the coals. Get part of the Dutch oven cooking. The most important part is to get your coals going. As you can see, I got my fire going here, and the coals I'm after are right down here at the bottom. So we'll be using those to put over the top of the Dutch oven and at the bottom of the Dutch oven. That'll give radiant heat going both uh, down and up. And that's what actually cooks it. The Dutch oven is basically an oven that's on the outside, uh, you're using it on your fire. You could use the Dutch oven also inside your stove at the right temperature or anything. So it's the way the Pioneers cooked, it's very efficient. And uh, it got the job done for the crews that they had and the, for, for, for the roundups and uh, anything else they might have going. Burning, coals are about ready. We're gonna get this stuff ready now. Okay. Go ahead, Dan. Okay. All right, we're ready to get started. Okay, what we'll be using today is a number 10 uh, Dutch oven that feeds anywhere from five to six. So the first thing I usually do is I'll take uh, some foil and I'll lay it in the bottom of the pan. And uh, you don't have to do that. A lot of folks use just melted butter and uh, grease the bottom of it. But for, uh, for us today, we're gonna use some foil. It's just easy cleaning. So we'll go through that. Got a little wind going on, action going on out here. So we'll so we get the foil all laid in the bottom. Make sure we crease it around the edge, that way the lid will sit tight for us. Okay. So some of the ingredients that we'll be using today, we'll be using uh, some canned peaches. You can use pie mixture, canned peaches, depending on how you want to mix it. There's uh, many different ways of doing that. But today we're going to use uh, just regular pie mixture of peaches. So just add, we're just going to add two cans of it. These are like 28 ounce cans, pound. Just put that in the bottom. Get all the goodies out of there. All right, good. Real easy recipe. If you have a big family over, want to do something special for them. This, this always brings out the light in everybody. You take this, we get that done, and then you add a little vanilla ice cream with it, and you just have a, have a great time. All right, so next we're gonna do, okay, so we got two cans of peaches. Next thing we'll be using is a yellow cake mix. We just throw that into a bowl here. This is where it kind of changes a little bit between recipes. Some folks, what they'll do, They'll just take the cake mix and they'll lay it over the top and then they'll c continue from there. What I do, one of my ways of doing it is I just take a beer, any brand, any off, any type of beer is fine. I just mix it into the cake mix, use a can of beer, then we just mix that up. What happens is the yeast, the yeast in the beer, We'll help it rise and help it mix. Now once we get this mixed up, we'll mix this into the peaches. And then it'll all cook together. You can also just lay it on top if you like. The juices from the peaches will cook through it. In this case today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix it up with the peaches. Just make sure it's nice and stirred good. And when I have my family over, when I uh, travel, I come home and uh, have all the family over and we'll have steaks or hot dogs or hamburgers out here on the pit. And everyone looks forward to me making a cobbler or two. And there's never none left over. So I'm assuming it all. They all like it. All right. Got a few lumps in there, but that's okay. It wouldn't be outside cooking if it was perfect. All right, so next what we're gonna do is gonna take this, we're just gonna pour it. 
right over the top of the cobbler. Now for me, when I cook, the dishes help make the food taste better. So I like using old dishes when I can, pots and pans and such. Okay, so now we've laid that, laid that on top. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna just mix this up. Now you don't have to, but this is the way I'm gonna do it today. You can leave it on top the way it is, but today we're gonna mix it up. Just kind of stir it around, get them peaches in the, that cake mix. And when you peel it out of there later, when it's done being cooked and everybody gets, uh, gets some of it. Okay, so we'll lay that in there. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put a little uh, sugar and cinnamon. Just spread that over the top of it. You can put as much as you want. Fed folks say, well, how much you put on? Whatever makes you feel good. Remember, the sugar is going to cook into it. Add a little more sweetness to it. In this case, I think we'll just use everything that we got. Why not? It's going to be sweet. Okay, then on top of that, we'll put about three or four dabs of butter over the top. Kind of help it along. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's how easy it is. So remember, we got two cans of peaches. Could be a pie filling or uh, just regular peaches from the store. We got a cake mix, uh, beer if you'd like, and some cinnamon sugar and then some butter right on top of it. Okay, so now this is ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and cap it. Put the lid on. You're gonna cook this anywhere from 35 to 40 minutes over the fire. What you're going to do is check it on top. If it turns brown, then you start checking it. And uh, if it looks like we're ready to go, then we'll pull it off the fire. We're going to put the bottom on coals and then put coals on top. So we're going to check our fire now before we set it. Okay. Okay, we're going to get it started on the coals and we'll get her going. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and come on over. At this point, we're going to lay this right on the coals. It's got legs, so it won't be buried, and we'll lay it right in the center here. Drop the, you yeah. know. Then we're going to grab some of our hot coals and lay them on top. And this is how the Dutch oven works. It picks up radiant heat from the bottom to cook from the bottom up, and then radiant heat from the top to cook from the top down. And it'll meet in the middle. So we'll give that about 30 minutes, and we'll come back and check it and uh, see how brown it's getting. And if it's good to go, then we'll pull and pull it off. Well, Dan, this has been on the coals about 35 minutes. What do you think? It should be ready. Let's take a look, see what we got. Oh, that looks good. All right, excellent. I think we're uh, I think we're ready. What do you need? See so what we're gonna do? We're gonna dump these coals off. Maybe. Okay, you might get a little dirt on the bottom. We're good. Just a little dirt and cowboy food ain't, ain't gonna hurt you. So we're gonna lay it back on here. Okay. Okay. There, right, we're gonna set her down and see what we got. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it smells good. Great, dude. So we're going to set this mm. lid over on the rocks so nobody gets burned. It's a little chilly out here in the desert tonight. We could probably warm our hands up. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, it looks great. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna dish some of this out. Let's see what we got here. Mary Kay, why don't you hold that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, excellent. Bring it right over Oh, this, is, this gets better every time. Now, 
I know you like to cook out on doing all this cowboy cooking, Dan. What else do you do? Well, I'm a I'm a saddle maker is uh, one of my trades. I'm retired military, and I've done uh, a couple op uh, operations overseas. I mainly enjoy just the saddle making and the the lifestyle of the old west. It kind of just brings back good times. Okay. Let's get another one here. Let's get in there. You have horses. I have horses. I have three horses. Uh, five dogs out here on the on the ranch. On the ranch. You know, and the little woman, of course, who keeps things going while I'm away sometimes. Oh, excellent, excellent. Well, she's still cooking. <laughs> I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Because the, the pan, the pan is still hot, it still holds the heat. I think the next still, time, yeah. Still cooking. Yeah. The next time we get together, we'll try to make some biscuits. Oh, here we go. And we're going to put some ice cream on Oh, this? absolutely. And you got to have, as my wife says, you got to have the right ice cream. And I think that's it. Vanilla? Vanilla. Okay. Let that do that. Find me uh Let's set it down on there. Okay. Yeah, this you can't show the label. Let's do it from the side here. How's that? And we've got here all natural vanilla. Alright. Let's go give it some ice some uh, ice cream. Some vanilla ice cream. The ice cream's not gonna melt today. No. <laughs> not at all. We're having one of those cold spells here in the desert. Beautiful country out here today. Got a little bit of a breeze. Get a little more over here. I don't want no one cheated. That's equality, huh? Yep. All right. Okay. Looks good. So get the spoons. I got to taste this. All right. I'll get a little bit of that ice cream in there. Mmm. That is so good. That's so simple. Mm. Thank you, Dan. You betcha. You bet. And thank you, everybody, for coming to the Chi Channel. We'll see you again. Bye now. Da 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 da! <laughs> <laughs>